Hello, my fashionista is your girl Nadia Style. Um, I'm here in Dubai, but I wanted to do one unboxing, special unboxing while I'm here. Um, I have done a bunch of things, but I wanted to treat you guys to this and show you a little bit of uh, what's happening, where I am. Um, I'm just going to turn this. There will be a lot of lights. I think I'm going to close up. Hello, my fashionista is your girl Nadia Style. So... I'm going to be doing unboxing while I'm in Dubai. Um, it's a quick one. You don't have to be longer. But I will give you guys throw in more clips here and there from uh, where I'm staying at this present time as I'm speaking to you. Um, I'm in Dubai. I've been here kind of for work and pleasure. <laughs> All about lifestyle, you guys know. But I wanted to do this unboxing. This is a John Franco Ferre. Um, I found this store while I was shopping at uh, Dubai Mall. I'm telling you guys, I was so excited when I found out. So I couldn't help it, but of course, to close a little bit and treat myself. Um, a bunch of bunch of stuff, okay? Um, let me start. Okay. Unboxing John Franco Ferre. Let me bring you closer a little bit, guys. Okay, hopefully you have. And today I'm actually wearing a couture because I've been doing a lot of photo shoots here, and I just paired with, of course, with my uh, Salvatore Ferragamo belt. Uh, and then in my ear, of course, I have all my little studs, uh, Christian Dior. That's what I have on. Um, but hold on a second, guys. Hold on. I'm going to make sure that you can see everything. Okay? So I'm going to switch off the light. Okay. So we're going to start. Um, so I bought this shirt. Um, I bought a bunch of things, of course. You guys know I'm not going to <laughs> But I wanted to show you guys. Still all the while, you know. I know those are just packing. That's it. But I mean, I have to be packing them anyway. So, that's a silk t shirt. He has on, you see, all the little dresses. Love a fairy. Love me fairy. You know? So, just a t shirt, a simple t shirt that I got. Um, so, that's one. And then I got it to wear the poncho style. Um, this is something I can pair with uh, baggy jeans or leggings. Sorry guys, I'm gonna try to flip you where you can actually see it. There you go. Hello. But something that I can wear with, uh, of course, legging or you know, jeans. Just throw it in. Those are just, uh, these are really relaxed uh, trousers. I mean, as a matter of fact, I would wear it and throw in a picture because there's a blouse that I have from um, Joanna Ochis that I wanted to pair with. That's why I pick it up. But this is another thing that I picked up. And put that there. Ah, it hasn't fun yet. Okay. Um, the John Franco Ferry, of course. Uh, this here more casual first, but this here when you open it, you throw all the John Franco Ferry. Eh? Yeah. So John Franco Ferry. So, but they relax friends. I think. And then I have. Uh, oh, 
this one here is my favorite guys just the light with the sun eh? it gives it a good effect but look at that the fabric is really um like a very leger uh, a little bit so it's a stretchy um it's really cool look at that i'm gonna go for it long sleeve and, and you know guys um the good thing about buying the quality good designer things like john franco ferry i'm sorry but it's an upper echelon you know uh this is uh, i remember his days with uh christian dior john galliano all of them uh together and you guys have noticed that in my blogging i'm always mentioning the, because uh, they like uh, some of the designer that I always like to keep in my closet because uh, over time what he does he keeps the value he becomes a classic he becomes a vintage i mean come on now and the money no cost is fair cost me is down the line and i have daughters guess what so hopefully they will love fashion as much as i do but this is those are, this is the things that makes me happy um so when I found John Franco Ferry, I couldn't help it. I had to actually do unboxing. Um, oh, I have something smaller. Just a scarf. And this is the thing sometimes when I go, you know, to Paris or if I'm in New York, uh, since I live in Florida, but some nights or kind of, you know. Okay. John Franco Ferry. John Franco Ferry. That's the job. We still have more guys. I know, right? I couldn't help it. <laughs> so it's another bag. Oh, you know, when something comes in a garment bag, what they say, yeah? Special. Ah, so that's a garment bag. You know another one. I think I have a dress about Balenciaga that is similar to this. Um, just with the lettering on it. John Funko Ferry. Yeah. I definitely will be capturing some pictures so you guys can see. Um, so some of my unboxing with John Funko Ferry. You know what they say. Yeah. Do what you love. And do what makes you happy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this one is a big one. Guys, this one here, um, 100% cashmere, of course. This down the line. Okay. You ready? Okay. Sure. Again, the garment bag, the John Franco Ferry. I'll show you. is kind of a cool blanket by John Franco Ferry. Not cheap now. <laughs> but I want to show you guys. Look at that. You see the lettering on it? Yeah. Très cher. Yeah. Like that. So the way you would wear this here, I'm going to show you guys. This is a poncho coat, you know, all, all of that in the mix. You actually can do it like that. Let's see. Yeah. So this is the back. Huh? I'm going to kind of just pull it over so I can give you guys. But you see, there's a shawl. Um, all of these kind of designers also do that like i have some of louis vuitton that is like that and the fendi so but this i couldn't help it i was not gonna leave it because this is total classic john huh? franco ferry yeah i'm gonna bring it up a little bit sorry guys so you can have a better view of it
then we're gonna create the below the bottom border so you can just see many many different angles so you see what i'm talking about it's like a poncho but it's all open 100 percent cashmere john franco fairy total classic this one years from now but um, again, you guys know that I'm not a fashion junkie. I tend to buy things that make sense, things that I know down the line that I can still utilize. And then it remains, you know, in fashion, trendy, and so on. So, but that's what I had for unboxing. Oh, I forgot. So I went to um, Gold's Sook. So, I mean, if you do visit Dubai, you have to go to Gold's Sook. Come on now, guys. So I bought myself something. I used to have an anklet back in the day, but uh, you know, of course, look at the comments. It's 24 karat um, anklet. Yeah. Surprise. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I don't know if it goes so good. Guys, I'm sorry because it's been sitting in my bag. So it's a bit um, tangled up. So I need to show you where it is mainly. Sorry guys, I'm doing some because it's so tiny in here, man. Right, but it has the little uh, I can't tell it's just a little glittering thing uh, but I like it um, yeah, this is my anklet for my ankle bracelet I used to have one and I for some reason I lost it and I was so miserable I mean I used to miss it I was like oh I'm in Dubai you know I get another one yeah 24 carats so I treated myself to that nice Anyhow, guys, that's all I have for my unboxing with John Franco Ferry. Uh, thank you for giving me the time. You know, always, always. I'm always appreciative when you give me that moment to just to watch me and listen to me. Um, I did a bunch of shopping. <laughs> you know, of course, it's a giving for fashion bloggers. Um, but uh, I'm still in Dubai. Uh, I will be putting it up and the Wi-Fi being a bit picky while I'm traveling. So upon arrival in the state, I'll be putting up all of this content out for you guys. So you will see what I did here in Dubai. Um, I had the privilege to go to the expo. So I did the expo 2020. It's now over. It started since last year. Uh, amazing. Look out to that blog, <laughs> of course. Um, I did. I went to the Red Dunes, uh, the desert. That one, the safari, super dope. Yes. Uh, I had actually the camel. I did the safari all in nine yard. Like I'm in the middle of nowhere by myself. Yeah. And another one, so much to do here. So if you do plan to come to Dubai, of course, I just maybe look up some uh, 10 things must do in Dubai. I went to Abu Dhabi. I wanted to see um, the mosque, the Grand Mosque. That's a mosque. I'm telling you guys, that's a mosque. Mm -hmm. So I did the, the Grand Mosque and then um, Abu Dhabi was nice. Well, it's the capital, so it was different. Um, what else did I do? Ooh, I went to the malls. I did the Mall of Emirates. I did the Dubai Mall. I did the Burj Khalifa. I went all the way. I was a VIP guest, so I went all the way to um, 148, you know um floor it was oh my goodness the skyline amazing um what else did i do so you can i mean you can just i'll be giving you guys all the views of everything here where i am in dubai so right now i'm at the uh, five palm Jumeirah. you can look it up uh very trendy uh, i will throw in some videos and some pictures you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about but again it's always a pleasure don't forget to push that button, subscribing, of course, like, comment, share, you know, and don't forget to subscribe, okay? A très bientôt, au revoir.